Hello YouTube, this is Example, and uh, just coming into the uh, House of Santa's Grotto just to say, hey yo yo, what's up? And uh, I have decided that um, I'm going to have to go and do something a little bit different. Uh, planning for New Year, and I want to do a fireworks display. So what I'm going to need to do is uh, get some resources together. Now, well, I've got a bit of a problem because my mob traps are pretty hopeless and I'm gonna need to build something a little bit more um, epic than what I've got so I'm thinking about uh, going over to where the um, original monster spawner is the one that doesn't work too hot and um, either tearing the top off it or uh, building up from it and uh, building something really high up in the sky something simple but effective and uh, I've got a I've got something which I haven't shown anybody yet, which is my sky blocks, my sky sky block um, world. And I've got some really good mob traps there, and uh, eventually I'll get around to showing you my sky block two uh, world. And uh, I might actually just um, do a series on that too, series on that where I'm just completing all the challenges because I haven't completed the challenges yet. I've completed some of them. Uh, but I haven't done them all yet, and it's actually quite a neat little setup I've got there, and uh, so I'd quite like to share that with you too. But right now, what I need to do is go over to the castle and uh, start um, getting some resources together to go build the new mob spawner. So yeah, uh, I'm going to head over there now, and I will meet you either at the castle or at the spawner, depending on what happens next. And uh, we will get started on building a new uh, mob spawner. It's just going to be a basic one, uh, water, probably with water in it, and um, I'm going to let them all drop to their death because all I'm, all I'm after is the drops. I'm not after XP or any um, specific uh, special drops. So yeah, all right, I'm heading over there now, so I'll meet you there shortly. Okay, so I made it to the castle, and uh, now it's just a matter of. Um, getting rid of what's in my inventory now and stocking up on uh, items I'm gonna need while I am working on the new mob spawner and I'm gonna need that or oh, I might need some wood uh, maybe some iron? no, I might need iron uh, yeah, just just to get a few things together, and I'm gonna need some buckets. Do I need buckets? No buckets. Uh, a couple chests. Some dirt. Do I need dirt? No, I don't need dirt. Mm. Don't need to carry my diamonds with me. Nope. Oh. oh yeah, my nether chest is gone. Mm hmm. I need to make another one of those. I accidentally uh, broke my one. So I need. I'm gonna need a lot of cobble. But uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. I'm gonna just add cobble. Should do our stone bricks. What a mixture. Hmm. Some half slabs. Uh, got any ladders? No ladders. Take some sticks. And crafting bench, no. Uh, ender pearls could be handy. Some coal, possibly. Uh, do I need any? I'm not going to do any automation. It's just going to be simple. Hmm. All right, so that's that. So I'm going to head over now to the. Uh, Oh, here we go, take some of this. Uh, I'm going to craft some buckets. Uh, head over to the uh, Sky Farm, is what I called it. And uh, I'm going to just take a little look around and then decide what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'll, he I'll head over there now and uh, we can either come along for the ride or should I just take it? I'll, just, I'll meet you there because it's, it's still a bit of a ride over. Yeah, no, it's a bit dark. I'll sleep first. And what's this chicken doing in here? Uh, yeah, all the mobs seem to be escaping from their pens. And that never, uh, that, that, that kind of fixed that for a bit. And now it's a 
And now they're all loose again, so hopefully they'll fix that soon. Uh, yeah, my puppy did die. Uh, I think someone smacked it too many times and it died. And when I logged in, it wasn't there. Or maybe it was one of those, you know, log and glitch things. All right, so let's um, let's, let's head over to the uh, to the sky farm, and I'll, I'll meet you there. Like I said. All right, so here I am at the uh, sky farm, and uh, my idea is that I wanted to build. Uh, from the top of this up to the uh, sky limit and then build a spawner up there just because I haven't lit up all around here and that's the problem with this actual spawner uh, and I don't have a lot of time to be running around lighting up all the caves around here because uh, the new year is fast approaching and I just want to get on with business so the idea is uh, I was going to take off the whole top layer I don't know how many layers or how many levels I can go up, so I'm not sure what the sky limit is. So, uh, yep. So I'm going to build up from the centre where that tree is. So I'm going to chop down that tree. It doesn't have to be there anyway. I thought it'd be kind of cool having a, a jungle giant jungle biome tree in the middle of uh, whatever this area is. Um, what's it called? Plains biome. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so how high am I? Y109. So I've probably got a couple hundred blocks up that way. So this might work, yep. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to chop down this tree and get rid of that and uh, build up right where this tree is. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I should probably climb up the top and come down. Otherwise. I'll be pillaring up there to fix this thing. Okay, here we go. Up, up, up. Hold any shift. Snick a few logs out. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay, can't take them off. off. And now this tree is history. And it gives me some more wood too, which is nice. Yeah, lose a bit of it probably to the lava down there. Down in the for sure shouldn't be standing on these. Uh, oh. I might uh, despawn and I will drop to my doom. Just a matter of going straight down. Now, I'm not sure how much of this you want to watch me do. So, I might just uh, cut here and finish cutting this tree and then start building my pillar up. Uh, don't forget to get some water before you leave, though. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Otherwise, climbing up and down is going to be a bit painful. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'll, just, I'll keep recording and I'll just cut where I feel like it's boring, huh? So, um, that's a tree gone. So I'm going to use this. Let's fill up these uh, buckets. Oh, is that the wall filled up? Too crazy, man. You're going too crazy. Alright, so let's do... Don't want to do cobble up. So that's going to be the where they land on. Now I know that uh, they can shoot out on the way as, as they're coming down, which is kind of really annoying. So I'm going to build like a protective thing around here. Uh, so that's what we're going to have them land on. Let's put some half slabs on so we can fall onto. And. Which way do I want to build this? That's where I come in over there. It's been nice to have the opening of the other side or this side. So let's just. Ooh. 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 
they're quite difficult to get those drops the uh, saplings from the uh, jungle trees so um, I'll take them anymore so now all I'm do is uh, just keep going up up and up and up and then I don't have to waste so much should I do this I should really do this cheap I should do it on the cheap I shouldn't really waste all these blocks because they don't need to be wasted these corner ones don't need those so let's uh let's go up 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 as, as high as we can go whatever that is and uh i'll meet you once i pull it up to the top i've just realized something uh from experience i know that i do not have enough cobble on me to actually build this whole thing so at some stage i'm going to get down and uh get some more cobble now I used to have a cobble generator just down there uh, but it got broken somehow I can't remember how it got broken but it got broken and it no longer works so uh, that's kind of out and I'm on my last stack already so I'm gonna have to leap off because there's no way down and that'll be into the water hopefully but I need to be careful I don't end up going down the hole because that'll mean certain death. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to break out of it quick enough. So we'll leave it where I'm at. Uh, 1.33. Oh, so we've still got a bit to go. Yeah, I think this is the best idea to build this up here. Hmm. I'd have to worry about lighting up too much down there. Okay, so I'm out. I am out. <clears throat> Just for a, a peace of mind, I want to find it how much further I can go up. Uh, higher than another 66 blocks uh, do I want to do that that's a lot of this is a few stacks that's what's it that? um, six stacks of 64 just to get up to here it's night time uh, do I want to do that do I probably be uh, a good idea. I if I can get straight down here without getting kicked off. Falling. And it still hasn't reached the limit, the ceiling limit, so uh, maybe I'll just go up 60 blocks from where I am and then, that, and then build the actual spawn pads up there. And then I think yeah, that'd be a good idea. We're ready to go. So let's uh, jump down here. And uh, head down and sleep. And then find some more cobble. Alright, it's the morning. And it's time to go and get some more cobble. Um, my inventory is empty. So let's go down and... Oh, I always do that. Never make that jump. Let's do this the quick way because I'm not gonna hang around here ages for ages and how come I can't throw these in some people seem to be able to throw these further than I can. I'm not sure if it's anything I'm doing wrong. Or what, but yeah, that doesn't seem to go very far. There's quite a few bugs in this, isn't there? I mean, like those torches, uh, when you look through a torch at the nether portal, the nether portal goes it goes invisible, so that's quite interesting. Uh, let's take that. Basically, I need as much cobble as I can find. Oh, here we go. 
This will do. This should do the trick. Uh, still not enough. I'm gonna go down, I think, to the mine if I can't find any more here. And get some more. Oh, don't need to. Good stuff. Uh, make sure I don't get any gravel because it's kind of a bit pointless. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's good supply. Uh, now for food, I think I've got some beef in a furnace somewhere up here. My frame rates drop quite a lot. Uh, not sure why. Seems like I was getting to be a bit of frame rates in this. It's dropped right down. Uh, food. Looking for food, man. Uh, nothing. 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 I don't think my cows are ready to. Hello. My cows are ready to uh, chop yet. I haven't been around here. Now, see, this is where my chickens are getting out. They're escaping. There's a heap in there. Alright, cows. Time to chop a few cows. Thanks for coming. Right, so it just so happens that I've got too much... I'll eat my steak. Ta-da! Uh, get rid of that, and then pick up the beef. Is that nine? That's enough. Okay, move, move, cow. I don't just kill on one hit. Sorry, cow. All right, so I've got my meat. I'm gonna cook it up, and then I'm gonna meet you back over at the farm. Sky farm. Ah, uh, alright, so I just worked something out yet. <clears throat> and you're probably all thinking the same thing. How are you going to get back up there? Now, that's a good question because I obviously have not thought that through. So, what I'm going to need to do is make some. Nope, more. I'm gonna need more. Give me more. Oops. Well, I'm glad it gives it a jungle for something. I'm not really gonna build with it right now, so eventually it might be nice to have, but uh, there's a few jungle biomes around, so. Not really too concerned. I hope they got my pick. Otherwise, it's going to be a short trip, isn't it? Okay, so let's go and lay some ladders and climb this and then continue building up. So let's we should put these ladders on the front. Yeah, let's put them here and that way. No, right, we're back up. So I'm going to need to go up. Pretty much use uh, four stacks of the stone. I hate it when I do that. Just go one beyond your reach. So actually, before I build the, the cap or the actual spawn pads, I'm going to have to go up and make sure I've got like at least four blocks of height above uh, so I can actually do it. Otherwise, um, you have to be, I'll, I'll be building it and I have to destroy everything I've done because I'm not going to be able to fit the water streams in and so forth. So, uh, this one step gone over six. Just in case, I'll just. I, mean, I don't know what the cap is. A lot of you probably know, and will no doubt tell me. But I don't know what the uh, limit is. I think it's two hundred something. Don't know. 
not sure. I haven't researched it, not really knowing. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can. I think, well, I'm going to go as high as I think I need to go. Uh, obviously, the higher the better, and the less things around the better. If this was on some kind of ocean, away from land mass, it'd be even better. So that's why I'm trying to go up as high as I can. This thing already looks like a monstrosity, so another thing on top ain't going to hurt, is it? Okay, so we are heading up. That's two stacks. We said four, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I think the drop <laughs> will kill some of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. I am actually might try and make it three high and get some endermen in there as well, just for fun. I think. Uh, do I want... I don't think I want spiders in here. No, I don't. I don't want spiders, so... I'm going to have to make it so spiders can't spawn. Sounds like my noise cancelling headphones are about to uh, run out of battery, which means I have to stop and fix that. Well, how high can you go in this game? Alright, I think I'm going to leave it. Mind you, I can see down there. And I'm going to be... I'll keep going up. That's plenty high enough. Right, so how this is going to work is we are going to do the water trap method. So I need to come back nine blocks. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. So that's going to be the back wall. This is going to be the water channel. Oh, you've all seen these before. I don't have to explain it, do I? Some of you may not have seen them before, but it's just a uh, a simple, really, really simple uh, spawner. And all I'm going to do is put this down for the water channel, and then I'm going to make the spawn pads next. So there should be eight blocks here. The water flows eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the water will stop here, it won't go down there, and the mobs will fall into this little channel and uh, get washed down. Well, that's the plan. I don't have enough water. We've got enough water to make an infinite water source up here. Now, should I have done that? Yes. The sun is rising over there. Here it comes. The majestic sun rises from its slumber. Okay, so I'm going to just temporarily fill that in so I don't fall down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is counting with example. So if you don't know how to count to nine, I'm going to show you how. Uh, such a goof. All right, I don't really want to fall down from up here. I wonder if in a free fall you get an ender pearl on your buffet. And if it'll uh, save you from dying. And I wonder if I've got enough reaction time to actually get one off. Uh, if that makes sense. Oh, don't want that one there. Um, kind of like a uh, parachute or something, you know. Using it like a parachute. Breaking your fall. 
If we die, oh, I didn't want to. I think I kind of like it. It's all looks symmetrical from underneath, and I laid an extra block. Uh, is that OCD? I don't know. I don't know, man. But. Uh, Shift fingers getting sore. Six, seven, I've lost count. Eight, nine. Yeah, that was right. So, let's do this. Oh, the sun, moon. Okay. And once we've done this, we need to go up another level. So it needs to be at least too high so the mobs don't jump back out. And then, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Uh, and then I can do the pads. So I've got the exact same one in my sky block um, world and not so high up in the air though. Though then again because you're up in the air, could be. Uh, but yeah it was it's very simple and really effective but I'm getting collecting spiders as well so this one I don't want them so I need some half slabs oops and yeah whoops I missed a block over here so this is our channel That's gonna talk about while I'm up here. Man, I've got so many plans of things I want to build on uh, the server, and you know what? It's, it takes a lot of time to do some of these big jobs, uh, and all I'm doing this for is to get enough resources to. Like, I'm looking for gunpowder more than anything to uh, build my fireworks, and I'm not gonna go out and build me a witch. Hut, um, a witch farm just yet like other people are doing uh, that's what I'm almost behind because I've started I've started playing this game a lot later than a lot of people and uh, a lot of people are way more advanced but then I've got some cool ideas which I'm pretty sure some of them they haven't thought about yet so uh, hopefully I can get onto those a little bit quicker than when then uh, they do uh, one of them being that water elevator and I did a recent one on that, uh, but Etho uh, beat me to it, and I can't claim credit for it at all. But uh, he did stumble across what I stumbled stumbled across, and that's the um, the sort of boost you get when you come out of the water onto a uh, block, and you can use that to your advantage uh, and uh, climb upwards faster than using just a standard water elevator. Or mob evader and uh, yeah so uh, it takes a lot of effort to get going properly but uh, once you get the timing right and you get used to uh, entering it at the same kind of speed and doing the same things then it's actually a lot quicker and uh, you don't have to I'm not even holding shift I'm just running around placing blocks so I might fall off uh, it's a lot quicker to to, uh, to change elevation so yeah, it's it's worth uh, it's worth pursuing. Uh, need to work on timing, you know, getting that a lot more efficient. And uh, it'd be really cool if the um, trip wires didn't break uh, when water's poured on them. Yeah, because I came up with a really good way to do this, to do it, and that was to use um, the trip wires. So every time you go up another level, it would fire off the next one with the tripwire but the 
the one above the one below would get washed out by the one above so um, kind of that's kind of uh, unusable but um, the timing you don't have to worry about timing because it's did it all for you you just set the timing up just perfectly you wouldn't have to do anything and um, it's a bit of a shame it doesn't work however uh, it's a bit of fun and uh, there's one uh, Biffa 2001 he did this really awesome one with minecarts like a um, like a bullet train type of thing man that thing's fast that's something to look at too but all those sort of fancy ideas use up a lot of resources where uh, you know you kind of have to look at uh, do, you, do you do a fancy one or do you um, build something which is you know resource friendly uh, depends on time and uh, how you you know how you set up your world if you've got if you've got the ability to grab resources or or what you know uh, yeah because some of it's quite um, quite resource intensive so yeah so we're nearly done with these pads uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, make them uh, unable to spawn spiders and you got to do them in a sort of a, a little pattern but I forget see I'm gonna run out of blocks again and that's the thing with these you, they, you kind of like underestimate how much uh, how many materials you're gonna need until you start building it so which is why I didn't want to build my main pillar by using all the blocks uh, instead of the cross pen so yeah um, kind of lost my train of thought but so let's uh, Let's uh, work on this. Put the the um, the blocks down so we don't get spiders in here. And then I'm gonna have to go and get some more cobble from somewhere. Let's put some. Oops. Uh, these are just temporary blocks just to get out when I jump down there. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, so I can get out and across. Um, I'm not sure how much of this you want to hear me ramble on about, or actually want to see me build the whole thing, but it's pretty simple. So now I'm going to go up. Um, I am going to go up three blocks, I think, just for fun. Uh, I will get endermen. Uh, and hopefully they can't teleport out before they fall to their death like they can uh, oh hang on that's water hmm they don't like water so now I'm just going to do just a normal standard too high because I don't really need them what I didn't bring my I dumped my half slabs didn't I and I got no wood to make a crafting bench so I'm kind of boned um <coughs> Oh dear, and I don't have any water buckets on me, so, uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. This will either be my death or a moment of genius. Uh, I think I can make that. So I'm going to just uh, fall backwards down here. I'm going to do it reverse. Okay, ready? Here we go. I don't care who you are, that's freaky. Alright, so uh, we made it, we made it alive, and that's how high we are up. So that's pretty good. Uh, need to be a bit more prepared the next time I go up there. Oh, well, we might as well get these while we've triggered that off, so... Get some pumpkins. Uh... That's another thing too I've noticed. Do pumpkins take longer to grow? Because, uh, man, I was trying to do this real neat little trick and I'm going to show you about, I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, I thought it might be a cool idea and be kind of effective, but it's actually not. Uh, but um, I'm trying to like get mobs to automatically put pumpkins on, have the pumpkins grow automatically in a little cell so that it's all self-contained and they just stay there. Uh, but um, the pumpkins are taking ages to grow, and uh, not all the mobs can pick up items, so it's kind of it's going to take a long time for it to work. 
So let's just take a little break here and I'll just sort myself out and then Jimmy back up there and put the the uh, half slabs on. It'll obviously be the next day. And we might have some mobs up there to greet us when we get up top. So, uh, alright, let's just take, take a cut and I'll be back. <laughs> 